Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays Wingspan. I figured I'd mix it up a little bit. Crusader Kings will be con continuing the day after, but I figured, hey, let's throw one of these games in here. You guys seem to like it. Uh, now, there have been several of you that have called for me to do a multiplayer game of this. Uh, I'm trying to think out the, the logistics ways. I mean, there's good multiplayer for this game, don't get me wrong, but the pacing is a little uh, a little trickier. Uh, with that, so I'm I'm still working on it. I will try to bring you a multiplayer game. Um, right then, until then, let's uh, let's go forth here. Um, so last time, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Instead of five players, three. Why three though? Because the um, the whole idea with three is that the um, once between uh, once between turns birds are not uh, not as powerful, which is can be a little game breaking um, if you get one of those out early because the AI doesn't know to play around them. So just to keep it fair, I'm, let's let's try a three player game. I also like the ranked mats for that. So let's do it. Okay, so we got eggs in bullness, birds on the water, eggs, uh, birds with eggs in clusterness, and birds with uh, eggs in cavity nests. Um, so a lot of egg-based stuff here. Fair enough. Let's see what our opening hand looks like, because this is going to be. I, I I hate to say it. Sometimes games are won or lost in this opening hand. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so. Wow, okay, Chipping Sparrow's good. Northern Harrier's fantastic. Carolina Wren is good. It's not great, but it's good. Um, oh man, if we get a... Oh no, never mind. Um, I was about to say, if we get a Predator card, but the Spotted Owl isn't actually technically a Predator card. Um, Alright, hang on, let's see what are our cards. Uh, birds that can only live in the wetlands or birds with body parts in their name. Okay. Um, well, I'm still going to take the Northern Harrier. That's a fantastic pick. Um, because it's only one food, and we can play it in the water. That's where we absolutely want to play it. Um, but we also want a good... We want a bird for um, the, uh, the forest. And we do want a plains bird. The Chipping Sparrow is too good to pass up. So I think I might go three birds, uh, two food, and then go for a rat... And, I don't know, uh, uh, the Wren can be either or. Now, then again, the Wren... I do want the Wren. Let's, let's, yeah, no, that's, that's... But do we want... All right, so the difference between Chipping and Cast and Sparrow, this one takes two food, gives me an extra point. Chipping Sparrow... Um, gives me more egg slots. Yeah, the Chipping Sparrow is actually, strictly speaking, better than Cassin's for for the cost. And at the early game, you want you, you need to be mindful of the uh, of that. Now we um, aren't going to be playing towards any of our um, any of our our bonus cards here. Um, I mean, we could, well, see, if we play the Harrier, we're instantly disqualified for the higher tier wetland scientist bonus. Birds with body parts in the names, however, that's, um, that's still doable. So I think we're going to go with that one. And then, yeah, I think we're going to go with these three birds. Although, do I need three birds? Because the Wren... The Wren gives me two cards for free. So I could go for a, a cheaper one. Although I hate to pass up the Chipping Sparrow. It is so freaking good. Like, we are going to definitely be food poor here. Um, but I don't want to pass up the Wren, because that's just, that's just too good in the forest uh, early game. It is very much a tempo play. And I don't want to give up the Harrier, because that is absolute perfection in the water, too. Uh... Alright, you know what? I'm going to sack the Chipping Sparrow here. We're, we're going to get some extra food. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go Worm. Because that's Worm or Wheat, if you don't know what kind of food you're going to be fishing for. 
Um, although there is a worm on the feeder, so let's go for a wheat. Alright, I want to play the Wren first because I want to see what birds I draw. Because that can influence the order of operations of pretty much everything else. Uh, and yeah, we do want to pay the berry because that's the rarer or the less, less common one. Carolina Wren. A single male Carolina Wren can sing nearly 3,000 times in a single day. Okay, so the Greb. The Greb is a healthy is a healthy card drawer. Uh, awful later on because it's zero points, but um, that uh, burrowing owl is good for the star nest, but not so much for the power. And I don't like feeding uh, fish to other players, so I do think we're gonna go. We're gonna grab the Greb, and uh, we'll go. We'll die. We'll go into for a rando. The Bobolink. Uh, maybe later. I mean, if we go crazy with cluster nests, but we don't have a lot of cluster nests right now. So now the question becomes, do I want the Greb or the Northern Harrier first? Ooh, getting free food off the bat. Well, um, yeah, we can, we can, uh, we can grab that, uh, that them there. Actually, we can grab the fish if we want to for the Greb. Let's grab a fish for the grab. Make it less easier for our opponents to re-roll the things and get a clean one on that. All right, so we've got an early supply of food coming in, and that's good because we have a good card draw engine coming. Um, so I do think Northern Harrier Greb is the correct answer, unless there's something really fantastic. Purple Martin's not talking to me, no. Um... So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't matter the uh, thing. We are going to have to take a naked um, egg action after this. So, let's just drop the Harrier. Because we're not going to take a water action until we play both of these anyway. Oh, and more freebies. Okay, maybe we can start going towards the bubble link. All right, we'll grab a worm. Although we're not, we don't want to play the Bobo Link soon. Bobo Link's going to be a long-term play. Uh, I do want to build up for a cluster nest, both for the Bobo Link to pay off, but also for the uh, cluster nest, uh, birds with cluster nests, eggs, and all that fun stuff. All right. Um, empty egg action. Um, neither of you are bull nests, which is unfortunate. Um... So, what the hey, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this will help me with birds in wetlands for the round two bonus. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't make sense to go for that particular thing. All right, let's get the grab. We'll eat, feed him a fish. Spend an egg. Pied build greed. Pied build greed. Uh, greed, not grab. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, uh, narrator lady. Um, okay, none of these are useful to me, but since we're going to be fishing in the wetlands, let's go for more, uh, more of them. We could grab the osprey. I don't want to grab the osprey. Let's be very, very honest. We will, we will be able to fish, we, we'll be able to look at four different cards, uh, when we take a wetlands action here, which I'm going to take right now. Um... Yeah, I'm not feeling the purple Martin either. Tuck a card. To, well, actually, no. Tuck a card to draw a card actually is pretty good. So I will grab that as one of my uh, one of my ones. Not feeling the burrowing owl though. Not feeling the osprey either. Not especially not early game. Uh, so let's go blind here. Um, Geesh. Geesh. No, thank you. No freaking thank you. Alright, thank you, Grab. Let's get the cuckoo. Alright, an early uh, an early um, once between turn bird's good, although it's kind of expensive. And the Avose. Alright, well, uh, we're getting some big ones here. Oh boy, okay. Um, I might want to throw. 
you know, I think our uh, I think our purple Martin's gonna actually get played in the uh, in the plains here because that'll let us get more efficient egg actions, and we're we're gonna have an excess of cards, so we can we can do the tuck. Of, we'll have excess cards to tuck uh, and maybe cycle through to get something better. So we want the that purple Martin's gonna be key. Not feeling the scissor tailed flycatcher. Um, cause it's, it's slow, it's expensive and it gives everybody other stuff. So, oh, right. I got to do the thing. All right. I see. I would have, I would have loved the quail, but our Harrier ate the quail. Now we have to discard and yeah, we'll get the fly catcher out of here. Yeah. All these big expensive birds coming out round one. All right. Purple Martin. Coming on up here. Purple Martin. Native Americans hung gourds as houses for these birds because they eat so many bugs. Right, I think, uh, I mean, I don't want to burn the Avosay, but I don't have any cluster nests for him to lay into. Um, the Bobolink will give me that, but eh, I might burn the Bobolink. Bobolink is way too late game of a play. Um... Blackbilled magpie. Now that's what we're talking about. Now, now we have this. Okay, so I do want to go for more cards here. Yes, and I could use another uh, uh, planes. Yeah. All right. So let's grab the magpie and then go. Whew. All right, still not going for that Osprey. Let's go. Ooh, the Catbird can be useful. Stellar's J. Man, all these expensive cards. See, why couldn't have you... Well, actually, no. Song Sparrow... Song Sparrow's okay. Like, it's really good early game. If you get that in your early opening hand, that's fantastic. All right, what are we going to burn? Um, yeah, not the Magpie. We want the Magpie. I think we're gonna burn the Boba Link because, yeah, it's it's too slow. But all these massive cards. But I'm glad I'm happy to have picked up the Magpie. Um, all right, do we want the Rat? We don't want the Rat. We want to roll. Um, so what do we want to aim for? The Egret will give us extra. Actually, the Egret. Plus another water bird, maybe something not quite as expensive. Um, although we could use a we could use a um, another uh, forest bird to get our food engine going. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna go we're gonna go worm here. Okay, um, and yeah, the magpie is going to help with our food engine as well. Um, yes, because Stellar's J... I mean, Stellar's J could work out. Actually, Stellar's J would work out a little bit better. Um, because it let it, you, you may cash it. Let, it could let us get more food. So we'll keep the wheat. We'll eat those two other... And then we'll burn the egg. Black -billed magpie. Unfortunately, I don't have a chance to egg. lay eggs in there. Along with a diversity of other yeah, nobody, nobody got bull nest birds, so I'm not too worried about that. I also need to see what's in the pile, because I'm still really not that happy. Although we can take an eggs action and swap out for something. So for there's just one good thing... Yeah, no, there's not one good thing on the face-ups. This is this is some hot garbage face-up cards here. Um, so, I think what our best move here is. I mean, we could use the, we could burn this for an extra food. We can, yeah, we can we we have all the trappings for the Stellar's J here. Uh, so we will burn a card. Uh, what do I want to burn? The Avisay. No, we want we want the cuckoo. 
Um, yeah, I think the egret's too awkward to play at this juncture. I mean, I'd love to play a, a two for one. Um, Abu Sid, I don't know. And I hate to throw away the catbird. Catbird's really good, but. Hmm. And we're about to play the Stellar's J, so. Yeah, I think I think we throw the right away. Okay, uh, so we pick up a, uh, a wheat, and um, so that gives us two wheat, and then doesn't matter for the third. All right, extra food from the bird feeder, fantastic. Um, no, I don't need a fish. Let's re-roll that beast. And, because we want worms? No, I kind of want the cuckoo. After we play the Stellar's J, we want the cuckoo. Because the, the Stellar's J can get eggs laid into it. Sort of. Um, but I'd rather have the cuckoo. Although, no, if we're going to go av if we're going to do that, we need to have Ose, and then we can lay eggs into the star nest. That's, that's, that's the move. That's the move. So we want, um, we want two worms and a wheat. Actually, no, I don't, I don't want that one. I want that one, because I, I, I might be able to Stellar's J it. So I'll just take the, the flat out worm. Depends what my opponents do. All right, I am going to need eggs here. Um, do I have any good face-ups to... Nope, no, they, they know it's garbage, too. They know it's garbage day, too. Um, okay, so we do not want to lay eggs into our star nest. Um, so we can just plop them in the part purple martin. doesn't really matter. Well, it will eventually matter, because we don't have a cluster nest yet. Uh, but we do want to do the tuck a card. Um... And if I'm going to be going Avu Say here, and since the bull nest is already passed, I think uh, throwing the cuckoo away is it makes sense. And then we'll go random for it. Fish for something good. Northern Mockingbird. There we go. The be the better wild card repeater. Yeah, it's lower in points, but it's uh, one less food. All right, we could play the mockingbird right here, right now, but um, and could, that could uh, that could parrot the purple martin, um, their ability. Um, that's about the best ability we could parrot here. Um, all right, brown pelican is up for grabs. Not really feeling the brown pelican, so I don't need to take a card action here. I think we proceed as planned with the stellar's J, um, and then we just burn an egg from the martin. Stellar's and now our food engine is is more turned on. This bird on a Russian exploration to Alaska and actually this is a fantastic fee uh, bird feeder for us here um, because now now we can just insta reroll and possibly pick up a free wheat in addition to uh, some worms depending on what the luck gives us. So yeah, insta re uh, re reroll. That's that's actually exactly what we want. So we want the worm. Actually, this this worked out beautifully. Um, so we have one worm. This gives us a second worm. We'll get a freebie wheat um, from the Stellar's J. So that'll give us enough for the Avuse. That rhymes. Um, which means we can go. Um, we can go uh, berries for one of our uh, repeater birds. We will take the wheat. Thank you, Stellar's J. And now we can get the... Ah, uh, oh, somebody took the worm. Okay. Uh, that's fine. We'll just take the other... Well, actually, wheat's going to be abundant, so... We'll take the fish. All right, we want to get the Avuse down as early as possible because it's a once between turns bird. 
And we only need to burn an egg for that. American Avocet. American Avocets build their own nests, but also parasitize other birds' nests. I will continue pronouncing it Avocet, because it looks like that's the way it should be, even though she just correctly said Avocet. Um, Great Crested Flycatcher. Good. Not great, but good. A berry and a... Th yeah, no, we got too many other things. I do wish that that one, that one fish was a worm, because I could play a mockingbird right near. Uh, I am going to burn the gray catbird. Um, so we could go for some more eggs and stall. What's the bird? Ew. Bird feeder looks like crap right now. Although, no, if we grab the rat... We can get an instant reroll, and that could put things in our favor. Um, in more than one way. Yeah, I'll do that. So we grab the rat, get the reroll, we get the free one freebie here, and we can grab the worm. Uh, and in this case, we don't need to take the wheat. We can cash it if we really wanted to. Do we really want to, though? Um, although it's early in the game, it's probably better to take it. Later game, you want to cash it. All right, free freebie from the bird for. All right, so now now the cat bird becomes a more viable play now that we get that we got this second berry. Oop, and some free pull up and fresh air. So now we can now we absolutely want to spend any eggs from the uh, black billed magpie without without question. All right, so I do think actually we go catbird here uh, since it's worth more points. It's uh, it's got the actually it's got no it's got bull nests um, which is not helpful immediately, but um, yeah we don't have any others so and we want to spend the egg anyway so yeah let's go catbird. Uh, and we can use that to pair it off of the Purple Martin whenever we take this action. Uh, we are going to want to stock up on cards since we're going to be doing two tucks, two draws. But two, tu two tucks, two draws is not a bad thing. And we can always add other birds on here that the cat bird can mimic off of. Gray cat bird. Cat birds mimic other birds and also have a call that... I mean, we could do the Mockingbird too and go go three for three here. Speaking of three, we got uh, top tier in water birds. That's good. All right, now let's see what our, um, we do want to draw cards and, um, okay, ring build gull is really good. Tuck a card to draw a card is always a welcome sight. Barred Owl is a good one. Actually, the Gull is good. The right White Crowned Sparrow is also really good because of its eggs and nest type. Um, so yeah, we want to. We definitely want to do um, um, a draw cards action here. Um, so no, I want to burn the egg. I do want to burn the egg because we're going to be taking a lay eggs action after this. All right, so we want the sparrow, we want the gull. Um, I mean, we could grab the barred owl. Do we want the barred owl? It's getting a little later, though. I think we can do a little bit better, but hmm. let's see what the randos are. Black skimmer, not feeling it. All right. Uh, Mountain Bluebird. Mountain Bluebird. Uh, maybe. Maybe with the Mountain Bluebird. Although that'll be good for late game. Lots of eggs, cavity nest. Um, and you're a cavity nest too. Alright, yeah, we'll take the Barred Owl. Alright, let's see. Alright, Meadowlark. Um, oh, that would have been a good one. This, the, these lay an egg on everyone's nest is probably one of the few help other players cards that I like. All right, so we are going to burn, not the gull, not the sparrow, the skimmer. Skimmer is garbage. 
Junk goes. Eh, not bad. All right, I didn't leave the other players with too much. I still might end up uh, burning the owl. All right, hey, uh, eggs. I mean, I could play the barred owl right now if I really wanted to. Um. Or the White Crown Sparrow, actually. Although no, we don't have the right food for that. Um, we'd have to we'd have to burn a burn one here. Uh, but then again, we have the Ring Build Gull, which I mean that's two of anything. Um, all right, we got five turns in this round. I need to plan out to get as many birds down as well as get eggs laid into them, so we get at least one egg in each of them. Um, I think Bard Owl to food is a correct answer here. Do I have it? I have an egg. Yeah, I got I got a freebie egg, so I can I don't have to take the lay eggs action right this section, right this section, right this second. Burn the freebie Bard egg. Owl. The Bard Owl's haunting call sounds like who cooks for you? All right then. Free egg, free egg. Thank you, Magpie, and thank you, Avusay. Okay, so that means we can still... Well, we can, we can go digging for food, especially if the... All right, we have a worm. Yeah, because that's what we're missing. We have a worm. We can get a free wheat. Um, we do need berries. We need two sets of berries here, so we do want to go fishing for that. Do I want to burn a card for an extra food. Um, and my answer there is no, because I like all my cards. So we're not going to burn the extra card for the f extra food. We are going to take the worm. We're also going to take, yeah. Hmm. I'd have to burn the gull. I don't want to burn, I do not want to burn the sparrow. Because that's the whole reason we're taking the worm. Um. I could burn the Mockingbird. Yeah, I don't know how good a double repeater would be, so we could burn the Mockingbird for another food. Uh, but then that eliminates the need for a second food, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll burn we'll burn the mockingbird. Mmm, I could take the extra berry. I mean, I want to make sure the wheat is left. Actually, you know, wheat's more commonly demanded. Oof. Oof. Swing and a miss. Um Round three, take or burn. We take because the ring built gull can eat it. Fourth round is when I probably will will do that. Uh, do um, ooh hummingbird. Um, yeah, we we need more worms, but we ain't getting more worms. Uh, we'll go for a rat. Don't have any rats. All right, we need to get we need to get cluster nests down, and we need to get eggs laid into them. So I think the goal, the play here is sparrow to gull to lay eggs, and that's our th three turns here. Although, hmm, we are gonna need. We don't even need eggs. We got one freebie egg, but I don't think we have any... Yeah, we need to do eggs first. That sucks. That sucks. We are. Sh we, we didn't get a freebie egg. I mean, we're getting a lot of birds down. I'm, I'm, that's, that's a good thing, but... Yeah, no one... We're... we're... Dang. Okay. 
And we can't play both of these, and not that we want to, but... Uh, well, we can use this, burn a food for the extra food, and burn the rat. Um, now, we do want um, eggs laid here on our Abu Say. Um, and might as well start peppering um, eggs onto our cluster nests, or our cavity nests, rather. Oh, yeah, let's repeat a power. Oh, I'm going to need to burn two cards here, aren't I? If I'm gonna, yeah, all right, fine. You know what? We're going to keep the gull, and we'll burn these other two. So we'll burn the bluebird. Um, the Junko. Junko's not good late game. Uh, Red-tailed hawk? Not good late game. Pine Sikasin is not good late game. All right, we're drawing blind. Wilson Snipe. Um, actually, surprisingly good late game because you don't actually intend to take actions with it. So I'll take that. And now we get to talk another card from our hand. And yeah, we're not going to get a chance to play the White Crowned Sparrow. And Migrators are not that effective uh, later game. So let's go there. Cedar Waxwing. Tuck a card, gain supply. Yeah, not what I'm looking for, but that's all right. We're, we're getting tucked card points here, so that's fine. All right, lay eggs. Free egg. All right, we need to get we need to get these birds played. Um, yeah, I'll take the gull first. And we will feed you a fish. And we don't want to feed you a worm. So yeah, we'll fish in one of the wheat. Now we need two eggs. So one from the Avuse. One from the magpie. Ring builds gull. These gulls steal food and eggs from other birds and scavenge at garbage dumps. All right, free lay eggs, which means we can drop an egg in the gull, which is fantastic, because that way we get more bonus points. Um, I mean, unless we get a... If we can throw down Wilson Snipe and get another free egg lay action um, before the end of the turn? Although we're last, so I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not sure about the order of operations there. Um, but there's, well, actually, no, if we place another bird, then we're going to have to burn two eggs. Um, and we, well, we could burn these two eggs because those, these two eggs don't count. All right, well, I'll do it. I'll do it. We'll, I'll throw the Wilson snipe and burn these two eggs because we'll have a chance Wilson to get them in. Snipe. Snipes can fly up to 60 miles per hour. Good snipers can shoot them. All right, well, it didn't end up needing that, but that's okay. Bell's Vitro is looking good to me. Um, yeah, we need more worms. Um, yeah, we're, um, um, this is definitely a, ooh, free, uh, free food. Okay. Um, I am not going to be playing the Cedar Wax Wing, I don't think. No. But I do want um, Bell's v uh, Vero and the Hooded Warbler, and we also need Worms aplenty. Um, so I think I'm going to take one more card draw action. Yes, I know, that's going to give everybody an extra card here. I am not going to burn an egg for a card, though. So Bell's Vero, Hooded Warbler. Uh, oh yeah, three cards, so draw a blind, merganser, well, we can't play the merganser. Um, I could also choose not to activate this bird. Yeah, I'm not going to activate that. I don't want to give everybody... Alright, tuck a card, cedar waxwing is garbage, choose a card, random, whooping crane, well, that ship has sailed. Would be a fine one, but I can't play it. 
Draw two. One. Two. Turkey Vulture. Oy. That's better early game. All right. All right. Snack, ta snack attack. Successful. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'd love to b play the Bald Eagle too, but that ship has also sailed, so... All right, didn't give any any um, wrapped gifts to the other players. All right, lay eggs, fantastic. Um, not that there's any benefit to spreading out the cluster nests now, but eh, I do it as a matter of habit. Okay, we got four turns left. We got a lot of cards in hand. I definitely want to take Lay Eggs actions, but I also want to buff them. And also have enough cards to actually burn. Uh, Bell's Vero is probably the correct answer there. Hooded Warbler. Yeah, Bell's Vero because it's a star nest. Absolutely. And we can pick up some extra points. I don't actually think it is worth it to take another food action at this juncture. Because, yeah, we can probably spam that out. All right, so yeah, we want Bell's Vero. And yeah, we can take a little column A, a little column B. Um, we'll spend it from the Magpie. And the Gull. Bell's Vireo. John Graham Bell taught taxidermy to future Ooh. President Theodore. All right, well, we already qualify for the um, for these nests, the platform nest one, so we will absolutely take that. That's four points right off the bat. All right, now we can... All right, we're going to get lay eggs action. So the question is going to be, are we going to get a free food action? If not, we can just we can just rapid fire eggs um, because we can one, two, three, four. We can take two turns of this and then maybe with our final turn, um, uh, play play one more bird. Uh, if that bird's a good one to play like this, 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 the um the Warbler here, great final bird to play, but we, we need some freebie food uh, to play it. So I think we're just going to bide our time. All right, we want to pepper eggs across the cavity nest. So we want one there, uh, one there. Um, cavity nest, you get an egg, you get an egg. Any cavity nest here? Nope, no cavity nest here. That's fine. All right, repeat bird power. We will be repeating the purple martin. Burn the vulture. Um, are there any good things for us to grab that we want to grab from here? No, so we'll just grab something random. Eh, uh, no. Too little, too late. Um, and yeah, we'll just burn that. Actually, since we 100% can't play that one, yeah, no, not so much. Yeah, we don't even have to lose all of our turns because we just draw extra turns. All right, there we go. Um, well, food types don't line up, but we'll take what we can get. Because we can burn two for ones. All right, free lay eggs action. All right. Yeah, we don't. We are not playing the Savannah Sparrow. Yeah, we were gonna lay more eggs to bide our time. Um, at this point, we've maxed out this bonus. So here, it's just about dropping raw eggs, raw numbers of eggs. There you go, Stellar's J. You have one. All right. We definitely want to repeat the Purple Martin. You get out of here. Uh, nothing new on the face-ups, no egret, nope. Great. 
Grasshopper Sparrow. I'd have played you earlier, because extra eggs is extra eggs, but not worth it to play right now, because it costs you two eggs just to play a bird. All right, excellent. Regardless of what the food is, we have enough raw food to drop our um, uh, to drop our warbler here. Although the question becomes, is it worth it to drop our warbler? Let me do the math here real quick. Because let's think about this. All right, the warbler, the hooded warbler. I mean, we could get one extra. No, that's not a bull. That's a bull nest. So that's not going to help that out. Although the hooded warbler would actually push us to anatomist, because I think hooded is hooded a word. Um. Belly, breast, cap, beak, belly, chin, collar, crest, head, neck, shoulder, tail, th throat, and wing. Ah. But not hood. Uh, beak, belly, breast, cap, chin, Face, head, neck, rump, shoulder, toe, wing. I, I'd go with the hooded will warbler if I knew it would pay off for the anatomist because that would kick us into the seven point range. Um, I still might do it anyway because it's a seven point bird, um, it, which nets us out to five points because we have to spend two eggs. The alternative here is plus four, um, uh, plus five, plus six. So technically a superior action to take more, to, to lay more eggs, but um, on the off chance that it, it just didn't include the word hood, I will, I will try, I will try. Yeah, that's, that's just going to burn all of our food, which is fine. Um, and then the two eggs will go from the cat bird here. Hooded warbler. This bird spends its time in the Nope, yeah, I, I was wrong. Within a few feet of the ground. Well, at least we got that bonus maxed out. It was worth a shot. I one point less than we would have gotten before. All right, let's see how we did with the three player ranked map here. Yeah, that, war, that late game warbler. Decent bonus cards. We yeah, we we kicked butt with the end of round this time. Lots of eggs. And tucked cards, too. 96 points. Not too shabby. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been uh, Pinstar signing out. See ya.